I guess now we're video two. Damn, we ran out of memory or something. But this is um. So this is Moby. Um, that's the one I'm gonna completely gut this thing out. Tear out all the cabinets, and everything. Put me some workbenches and stuff in here. Um, the back, on the outside back, is it's screwed all the way around there. So eventually, once I get our property and get it set up and stuff like that, I'm gonna. Uh, remove that back door and put, you know, like a double door or some kind of garage type door. This thing's, man, this thing was just the the mice had taken it over and, um, man, it was bad. But anyway, we'll go walk out here and show you some of the other. I noticed I just went in there and downloaded that one video and noticed that the wind is kind of making it so you can't hear me. This is the chicken bin. That's Nick and Nack. Goats. That's a little man. That rooster, he's mean little mother. Uh, we'll go walk around here so you can see the, oh, just, this stuff's all pulled out. Like I said, we're hauling loads to the auction and everything. Oh, that's a little garage I built on. Over here, got a four-wheeler. Oh, I know this. I'll show you this one. This one's, this is a disaster. Everything's a disaster around here. This one, holy crap. Um, this is going to be the cookhouse. This is a little C class. Um, it runs and drives. Both both this and Moby run and drive. You know, I got to put a new fuel pump in Moby. Uh, this one ain't even started for a while. The fuel, probably fuel filter and everything. But this one's going to be the cookhouse. So I'm going to tear tear all this out and freaking make it a real nice cookhouse, a place to be able to sit in here and eat and stuff like that. So. I guess, uh, that's the start of the first videos or two. Um, our whole plan, uh, like I said, is to get off, completely off the grid. Um, raise our own, you know, we're into the gardening and everything like that. Let's get in here and see if this wind's making, screwing with this sound on this. Alright, so back in the bag. Um, really into the gardens and stuff like that so that's our plans to have us a place by uh... by spring i'd like to get one secured here in the next week or two or so um... so we can get our gardens everything like that um, snow hasn't really flown here in idaho yet so depending on where we get the property and access and stuff that could be that could be an issue um, i don't know i'll keep you posted on what's you know where we're going. Um, complete simplicity. Yeah, simplicity. Um, let me think here. What? Uh, just. Um, I guess it's going to be kind of a uh, reality, real reality show. You know, that's everybody said I should do a reality show. Back when we were living in the motorhome and stuff, everybody, man, our moms and our. Family and everybody, you know, got threatened because we were homeschooling the kids in the motorhome. People were threatening to call health and welfare on us, and you know, oh, we're such bad people, and all that stuff, you know. And now it's all hip. There's all these TV shows. You know, I do a lot of antiquing and junk digging and stuff like that. You know, and there's a uh, what is American Pickers and um, you know, just all these shows. Man, I was buying storage units 20 years ago. You know, now all these TV shows, everybody laughs all the time now because we told, uh, called somebody and said, hey man, we're going to, you know, we got three kids, we're going to jump in a motorhome and uh, travel around doing antique shows, hitting auctions and living, you know, in this motorhome. Man, you'd be all, hey, you got a TV show. So, you know, but anyway, so everybody was, oh, you should do a TV show, what you're doing. Well, I've been watching all these YouTube stuff, you know, on the, well, I don't know if you, man, if you haven't watched Garbage Warrior, you should watch Garbage Warrior, man. Uh, Michael, he's amazing, man. Those bio or the uh, Earth ships. Those, I'd like to do some of that when I get the property. Looking to get about five acres, at least. Um, really, I'd like, you know, <laughs> tons. I don't know, man. I'd like as many as I can get. Of course, your your greenbacks and your money's always the issue, you know, it holds you back, um, another guy I'd check out is Lloyd Kahn, Lloyd Kahn's one of my heroes, 
And that old boy, man, there's a couple of books. There's a few videos and stuff, interviews and stuff with him on there. And he just put that book out here uh, last year, a couple of years ago, Tiny Houses. You know, there's a lot of cool, cool little tiny houses and stuff they've done. Um, I follow a couple on YouTube. Uh, 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 the free American kid that's doing, uh, he's living, he's living in a camp trailer and stuff. He's pretty, he's got some pretty good informative stuff. Um, uh, off, there's an off grid cabin guy, I can't remember the name of that. Anyway, there's, man, I started watching the YouTube things and all that. Everybody, man, you should do that. So, I don't know if this will really interest anybody, but, you know, I'm going to try to show. Um, just the progress of this, and you know, when we move up on the mountain, you know, get a lot, we should get a lot more exciting, maybe a little too exciting sometimes. Here we got, you know, our kids, like I said, Red, me and Red are going in, me, me and Miss Kitty, and then I've got, uh, I got four kids, um, which is freaking, right now I got my two daughters that moved out, they don't, they don't leave, man, they come back. But they're back, and not only do they come back, they come back with their significant other. So now I've got, I tra traded two, moved out, and four came back. And then I got my son, he's 16, kid, little Kevin, Kevin D, and of course he lives here. But, uh, so they're all living here, we're talking about going off the grid, you know, or they're talking about going up there too. So, you know, they got to get jobs and get